Hello guys and welcome to my new quick tip tutorial, my uh, weekly quick tip tutorial on Saturday. In uh, this quick tip tutorial I'm gonna be show you how you can uh, or I'm gonna show you how you can create uh, this very cool freestyle effect on your model, on your 3D model. And uh, I uh, created a shader for doing this and uh, now you have the possibility to download this uh, shader as a blend file from Mediafire. I put the link in the description and uh, yeah, you can download it from there. And uh, I will show you how you, uh, you will use it or you can use it. And yeah, first I will show you some of the adjustments that you can make in this freestyle node. And uh, yeah, I uh, found that uh, Cycles didn't have a really good freestyle um, node or something like this. And so I created uh, a freestyle node by my own. The Blender internal renderer does have a freestyle node, uh, not a node, but uh, freestyle adjustments to create these cartoon effects but cycles didn't have so I decided to make this freestyle note here. So okay first we have the line sharpness. In uh, With this adjustment you can um, control how um, sharp these uh, lines will be in uh, relation to the line size. So for example if I reduce the line size or to Point one, for example, you can see that this looks very sharp and ugly. And uh, now let's reduce the sharpness to, let's say, something like 50. Or, no, let's take 20 or so, or 10. Yeah, something very uh, more. Let's increase the line size. And now you can see how uh, the sharpness affects the um, anti-aliasing and uh, the lines uh, become more uh, smooth. So you can control this with uh, these options here. So the, uh, the higher the line sharpness, the more sharp these options will be and yeah okay fine but now let's increase the sharpness and increase the line size to say 0 0.7 or 0 0.6 yeah that looks nice okay to uh, highlight this effect a little let's make the line size a little bit bigger okay fine then we have the fill bright and the fill contrast uh, it's uh, totally mean to what it's called the file fill bright just uh, adjusts how bright your object is your object itself so uh, this means only the object not the uh, outside colors for example let's just uh, increase this bright value and you can see it's more bright. I just try to um, to uh, yeah, collect all uh, adjustments which are um, needed to uh, create or needful to create uh, a cartoony effect. So for example if we bring the bright more down and increase the contrast then you can see that this looks uh, more cartoony than let's say uh, zero contrast and 10 brightness this is uh, yeah this looks uh, very better so yeah let's increase this to one the fill bright and make the contrast to let's say one two and this makes a very good or funny cartoony look. So now I will show you how you can create this. Um, I uh, prepared a scene for you. Um, 
you can uh, quickly build a scene by your own just a, a simple scene you want to build that's uh, hopefully not the problem I uh, have my screencast keys on so you can see which buttons I press or which keys I press and yeah I have a simple sunlight and a uh, point light and uh, rendered it looks like this you can see it's just a default uh, cube with a diffuse light blue color and a ground with a noise texture and green and uh, uh, some green and some brown stuff to simulate some kind of earth or ground yeah, some kind of funny looking ground uh, to um, which is what I found uh, better for a cartoony environment. So here can you see the end result which we want to do but just let's uh, um, yeah. delete these two options or these two nodes and yeah you uh, how you can do this you have to select first your um, cube this is very important uh, because you have to define um, before the rendering uh, which objects should be affected by the freestyle node and uh, this can be done uh, with the pass index if you don't know what the pass index is blender just uh, searches the object um, or you define the object which should later um, be uh, adjusted in the pass uh, in the compositor yeah and you can do this by uh, selecting your object which you want to uh, get contours at the end then uh, you select this object uh, tab in your top line here then you can simply uh, go to under the tab relations and uh, define a pass index. For the first object which should uh, get these contours, you, uh, I would uh, recommend to use pass index number one. And um, then you can go to scene and there's uh, an option which is called object index. And uh, this just brings up the um, dot there where you can connect uh, from your render layer uh, the uh, these object index uh, dot here let's go to the compositing tab let's go to the scene and if we um, make a um, cross here in the object index um, dot here you can see that this uh, gets created here in your render layer so fine then you press render and because I already rendered uh, I think it's not the problem um, you just uh, probably have to render your scene first and then you have this scene here okay fine or you have your scene you can pose the camera I have a uh, just a background a sky texture background and now you um, have to go to file first you have to download my uh, scene file which is uh, as I said before in the video description there's the freestyle node file then you can go to your project press file first you have to download it of course then go to append and then you have to find the um, freestyle node.blend file and uh, in my case it's here in my cycle, custom cycle shader nodes uh, folder then you have to press on this file go to node tree and um, here you have every group or every objects which are in this blend file and in my case this is the freestyle group just press uh, just select this freestyle group and click link or pen from library okay then in your compositor you can press shift a and go to um, group 
there because I already uh, loaded the freestyle node in I have uh, two of them here in my groups option box here I have just to click on one of them perhaps the first one and now you can see this is my freestyle node if we now would uh, blindly connect this freestyle node in between of this line from the render layer to the composite output then the scene would look a little darker and that's not no problem because we don't have uh, actually uh, specified which object this node should affect and uh, this is done by pressing shift a and adding a id mask node this is found under converter under add so you have to go to converter and uh, select id mask bring this into the center here anywhere where you want to be it or want it to be then select the index object which you have defined uh, before the render connect it to the id value and then select the uh, index the pass index you have uh, created for the specified object for example if we want to uh, get this um, if we want to let this uh, cube here get contours then you have to define the index one because in the, our object data we um, um, we brought a number of one to our cube to the pass index or we inserted the number of one and yeah then you have to um, select our alpha dot here to our object index window and as you can see now the lines are um, appended to our cube and this looks very good fine for example let's say you want to make this lines a little thinner because they look too thick then you can just increase our line size to make them to reduce the thickness to let's say 0.6 yeah this looks fine then you can um, for example increase the fill bright to something like 5 and the fill contrast uh, let's bring them bring it up to 20 now that makes this uh, kind of very cool look and yeah let's make a quick compositing just to fit our scene to this cube here fit the look of our from our scene to this cube and let's take the um, rgb curve node can see this um, cube has this uh, hard contrast so let's uh, bring the contrast a little up from our scene perhaps a little brighter yeah, something like this and let's increase the blue tones okay let's bring the green a little down and the red tones so that more blue gets into the scene fine and now let's increase our contrast okay nice and just to finish this scene no, th not this node. I don't want to the hue correct node. I just want to bring in the hue and saturation value. And let's uh, increase our saturation to let's say 0.1. Okay, that was a little too extreme. Um, if you don't want to uh, affect our uh, cube, you can uh, just simply uh, quickly get the alpha and bring this into the factor and if you now increase your um, saturation and perhaps invert this selection 
then you can see that just the uh, outside and not the um, object itself gets uh, adjusted or gets color corrected. So if I made it an extreme, you can see just the outside gets affected by the um, hue and saturation node and not the inside or the cube itself. Okay. Uh, let's take uh, 1.2 and yeah, this looks already fine. Perhaps you could, uh, you could take a glare node and make this a little bit uh, funnier. Ghosts, this effect looks very good. Uh, in this case, not so. Okay, yeah. Let's increase the threshold. Point one, for example. Okay, point five. This just um, uh, brings some kind of dust here. Uh, the um, Normal case is that the ghost, uh, the ghost node uh, just duplicates this uh, image and uh, compress this image or press this image together and um, just uh, lay this image on top of the original image one or two uh, times. Here you can adjust how many times and then it will um, take a screen. Um, operation and now this looks uh, some kind of this but this looks very cool and here you can see how you can create your own cartoony effects with your um, own freestyle node if you want to adjust this freestyle node you can just go to this uh, little icon here at the top right of our freestyle node and then you have the uh, freestyle node inside and you can just make some adjustments for you for example um, if you want uh, wi white edges, then you can um, delete the invert node and bring this operation here to add. And then it will add some <laughs> funny looking results. Uh, let's just delete these go this uh, ghost node here. Bring this. And then now you can see that you have uh, these white edges. Uh, it's a cool look too, but uh, I would, for the white edges, increase the brightness and decrease the contrast. Well, this looks very fine. So, but these are some little adjustments which you can do by your own. And yeah, I hope you liked or you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, I hope we will see us in the next Saturday. If you like this tutorial, uh, um, it would be great if you could uh, leave a comment or a thumb up. If you uh, have some critics or some st stuff like this, you can um, leave this, uh, leave them, uh, leave these at, uh, leave this also because uh, this uh, helps to improve me in my tutorials. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, um, the downloads are all in the video description under the video or below the video. Okay, I hope we will see us in the next Saturday in the next video and um, yeah, see you then. Bye!